Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography. Now I'm in a very remote part of outback Queensland at the moment and I'm filming one of Australia's most stunning and most rare highly venomous snakes. It's called the Colette snake. And the Colette snake is one of eight black snake species and it's closely related to the Australian mulga snake and the red belly black snake. And those of you that are familiar with black snakes, you'll understand that when they get in close proximity to humans, they can become quite defensive. And you're about to see some defensive posturing from this snake and i want to talk you through this behavior because a lot of people mistake it for aggressive attacking and really the snake's just trying to defend itself because it thinks i'm a large predator so just as i freeze this frame you'll notice that the snake has a closed mouth during this defensive lunge at me and that indicates to me that the snake isn't trying to bite me and that's not what his intent is its intent is just to look big and scary and put me on the back foot and it needs this behavior so that in the wild they can stay safe from predators and now you notice after that lunge the snake has paused and it's staring at me intently trying to figure out whether i'm a large predator because try and remember that this snake has probably never seen a human before let alone been this close to one so it's looking up at me and deciding whether it's safe enough to move on or whether it needs to defend itself further so when I'm filming wild snakes in their environment, there's always usually that adjustment period where the snake initially acts defensive and then it calms down when it realizes I don't mean it any harm. And I'm about to show you just how calm snakes can be once they get over that initial fright. And to do this, I'm gonna introduce my friend Dan Bromley. Now Dan's an accomplished snake handler and wildlife expert, and he's showing you exactly what to do if you find that you have a snake at your feet. And by remaining very still in situations like this, you're showing that snake that you're not acting threatened and it can just move off in its own time to safety and you can clearly see this snake is no longer interested in defending itself and it just wants to make it to this small washout where it believes it might be able to get underground and get to safety okay so moving on from this individual's behavior I want to talk about the species as a whole and why they're such an amazing snake obviously they're uh, one of Australia's most beautiful looking snakes you can see that beautiful orange and purple patterning which makes them really popular in captivity but for photographers like myself uh, finding one of these snakes and filming it in the wild is an absolute bucket list item and it's because of where they live in remote central western Queensland and their relationship they have with their environment it's black soil habitat uh, it gets really dry and drought stricken super hot temperatures in summer and then really cold temperatures in winter and to escape those uh, extreme temperatures this snake needs to live underground in cracking clay habitat like this so they only emerge to feed and obviously find a mate and, and move from shelter to shelter site so it means that the general public hardly ever see this snake and I've also heard of uh, fellow colleagues trying to go out there and find this snake over 20 times and it hasn't happened, which gives you an idea of how rare this is and how amazing it is to capture footage of this snake in its natural habitat. So just as I pan down uh, the snake here, you can see from a bird's eye view just how beautiful uh, its coloration and pattern is. Uh, and this individual is probably about a 1.3 meter snake. Then I'm going to jump over and show you a little bit of behind the scenes footage of me photographing this snake. And if anyone's familiar with my work, you'll know that I like to get nice and close with a wide angle lens and incorporate uh, not only the snake in all of its detail, but a lot of that background so that you can see that the habitat the snake lives in. And I just want to disclose before I go that I have many years of training and experience with venomous snakes and I don't want anyone watching this video and trying to imitate this without that relevant training and experience. And that just about wraps things up for this piece on the beautiful Colette snake. I'll leave you now with some favorite photos that I got from the encounter. And if you'd like to purchase any of these prints, please go over to rmrphotography.com.au. Thanks for watching and take care, everyone.